everyone else's art is so cool. But I still don't know what kind of art to do for the show. That is loud. Wow, that bird is dancing. Wait, that's it. I'll do a dance for the show. Hey, Chester, I just saw the most amazing thing, a dancing bird. I'm putting in rainforest dancing bird. That one. The superb bird of paradise. Whoa! So the male bird makes a dance floor by sweeping away dirt and branches. And then it calls to the females. I heard it. It was loud. And when they come, it goes into its dance. They snap their tail feathers. It sounded like snapping fingers. Wow, look at that. Now that's a rainforest dance. Welcome to the Rainforest Art Show. Hi! Why? Tweez! Now, Lily! Step to the left, bounce to the right, strut like a bird of paradise, sway like a palm tree in the breeze, do the rainforest dance with me. Step to the left, bounce right, hooray! This is how we strut when the music plays. Sway like a palm tree in the breeze. Do the rainforest dance with me. Runners, how come they're just laying around? Cheetahs don't run for fun. They run to hunt animals for food. So, if we want to see it run, guess we should find something cheetahs run after, like gazelles. There's one. I think it's creeping up on its prey. But wait, I don't see any prey. It's watching and waiting for the right time to pounce. Oh, look over there. Whoa. A gazelle. Wow, look at it go. The cheetah is fast. But so are the gazelles. I think I got the cheetah's whole run. Let's check out the footage in slow motion. The cheetah picks up speed so quickly, and it accelerates just like I did. Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground, so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws, so that I won't slip. Ready? Time to 
to run like a cheetah. Go! Cheetah Lily! your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, Cheeto, buddy. And now I'm gonna do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Lay down. <sighs> okay, no swimming with giant otters because they might attack us. Let's take a look underwater. Yeah! Whee! This doesn't look so bad, except for that stick. That's not a stick! It's a creature! A deadly one, too! It's an electric eel! An eel that's electric? Seriously? How is that even possible? Electric eels have special body parts that make electricity. They need this to help them hunt prey and defend themselves. What's that? Oh no, there's another one! That's not an eel. That's a snake. A ginormous snake. How many things live down here? Well, anacondas do. Right, Chester? Yep. They're the biggest snakes in the world. They can grow to be as long as a school bus. That's big. Do they bite? No. They coil their bodies around their prey and drag them into the water to eat them. Cool. But no swimming with anacondas. Absolutely yeah. not. No. How about here? It looks beautiful. No giant otters, no electric eels, no anaconda. <gasps> Ooh, fishy, fishy. Little fishies? Piranha with the sharp teeth that can eat whole animals super fast? Yes, but these red piranhas bark to warn other creatures to stay away from them. Cute otters that don't want to play? Eels with electricity? Giant anaconda snake that squeezed their prey? And barking piranha fish? The Amazon River doesn't seem like a good place to swim. Yeah, but this is where they live. Their home, not ours. The Amazon belongs to the creatures that live here. Sorry, Lily. Oh, I don't care about the rain. If only I could find some place to swim. If I could just find one place, any place to go swimming today. Well, how about this? I was working on the robo umbrella, but then it started to rain and it turned into a swimming pool. Yay, thank you, Willow. to play Marco Polo! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Marco Polo! <laughs> nice box! For me? Aw, thanks! <gasps> oh! Ah! Eee! Wow, what's that? It's a hermit crab, Lily. Wherever you find hermit crabs, you usually find shells around it, too. I hope so. Thanks, Chester. <laughs> nice. <gasps> More. Bye-bye. Bye, Nash. Ooh, these ones are pretty. Shells? Where did they go? Mm -hmm. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Polos, have any of you seen my seashells? They're gone. Gone? No way! We'll help you search for them. Where's Nash? <laughs> uh... <laughs> ah! <Ooh. gasps> right there. Oh. Sorry. It's okay, Nash. We'll rebuild it later. We have shells to find. <gasps> Lily, I think 
we solved the mystery. Really? A hermit crab. Lots of hermit crabs and shells. Yes, we found them. But why did they take them? Hermit crabs don't grow their own shells. They live inside ones that other creatures leave behind. Like hand-me-down clothes? Wow! What happens when one grows too big for its shell? It leaves it behind and looks for a bigger shell until it finds one that makes it a perfect fit. Interesting! Whoa, that's neat! <laughs> like we did trying on different sun hats. I love collecting seashells, but these hermit crabs need them more than I do. Enjoy, little crabbies! Need any help building your sand castle? Aw, that's nice, Lily. Definitely. Of course. <gasps> At least it has antler holes now. <laughs> Makes it a perfect fit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chester. <laughs> I think somebody else has found a perfect fit, too. Right, Hermit Crab? <laughs> <laughs>